Hi, Jamie Dreyer with EMT Practical Review here. And I want to let you know, in this video, we're going to be going over the scene scan and primary and secondary assessment of a trauma patient. Now, before we get started, I figured I'd just let you know, when I was working on this for my New York State EMT Practical, my study group and I worked together to put together a really handy dandy cheat sheet. Basically, just lays everything out that you need to know from the critical to the points to make sure that you've missed nothing. It's very handy, and if you want it for yourself, all you got to do is click the link in the description box of the video, put your email in, and you'll get it for free. That's it. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Scene is safe. I'm wearing my BSI. I have one patient, a uh, female, 40 years old. She appears to have fallen. Uh, and also appears to be unaware of my presence. I'm going to request ALS, and I'm going to ask my partner to stabilize her spine. My patient is lying supine. I don't see any blood, and she appears to be breathing. Miss, miss, can you hear me? I pinch her hand. No response. My patient is you, unresponsive on the AVPU scale. Her chief complaint is that she is unconscious, and now I'm going to check her airways. I ask my partner to perform a jaw thrust. And I check inside, airway is clear. I insert an OPA, she tolerates it. If she did not, I'd insert an NPA. And now I move to B for breathing. I open her shirt. And she has good chest rise bilaterally. Good. I check for two breath sounds, and they are clear. And now I want to check the sternum. Sternum is intact. She has good rib expansion bilaterally. And at this point, I'm going to ask to put her on 15 liters per minute of oxygen on a non-rebreather because her breathing is adequate and her skin color is good. Now I move to C for circulation. Her pulse is strong and regular. Her skin is warm, dry, and of normal color for her. And I check the hollows for blood, and there is no blood, no blood, no blood, no blood. My decision is to load and go and update ALS. I'm now going to begin the secondary assessment. Uh, if there were any friends and family or bystanders around, I would ask sample questions and get a history. I'm going to go ahead and start inspecting and palpating the head for DCAT BTLS. Starting with the scalp, forehead, cheekbones, nose, maxilla, and jawbone. Now I'm going to grab my light, checking the ears, nostrils, and mouth for any fluids and blood, as well as the eyes. And the pupils are pearl. Now moving to the neck. Checking the jugular veins. And she is negative for JVD. I'm checking the trachea. She is negative for TD. And now I'm palpating the cervical spine, which is intact. Now that I'm done with the neck, I'm going to ask my partner to put a collar on, stabilizing the C-spine. And I'm moving to the chest. She has good chest rise bilaterally. Popping the stethoscope on. And I'm going to get four breath sounds. Breath, 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 and breath. They are all clear bilaterally. Sternum is intact. She has good rib expansion bilaterally. Now I'm moving to the abdomen, both hands, and roll. And the abdomen is soft and non-tender. Checking the pelvis. Pelvis is intact. If I saw a reason to, I would inspect the genitalia. Now I expose the legs and continue to inspect for DCAT BTLS. Nothing so far. Socks and shoes come off. And I am checking for pulse on both feet. 
and they are strong and regular. And now, Miss, do you feel this? Which foot am I touching? Do you feel this? Can you tell me which toe I'm touching? Can you tell me which toe I'm touching? Can you wiggle your toes? Pinch, can you feel that? Pinch, can you feel that? My patient is still you in the Av Poo scale. I'm gonna move up. I'm exposing both arms, expecting and palpating for deep cat BTLS. I find nothing so far. I'm checking both pulses, or so the pulse on both sides. They are strong and regular. And now, miss, do you feel this? Tell me which hand I'm holding. Do you feel this? Can you squeeze my fingers? Which finger am I grabbing? Which finger am I grabbing? Do you feel this? Pinch. Do you feel this? Pinch. Still you on the Avpu scale. Now, I am ready to move to the posterior. So on my partner's count, we're going to log roll on three, two, one. While we're here, I'm going to inspect and palpate the back of the head for DCAP BTLS. The back, I'm checking the spine, the buttocks, and the back of the legs. I find nothing. We're going to insert the backboard and on my partner's count, rolling her back. Three, two, one. Great. And now we move on to vitals, starting off with heart rate. So this, for the sake of you guys on the other end of the camera, so you don't have to sit here forever while I'm actually waiting and counting for 30 seconds, I'll just talk you through this. I'm gonna count her heart rate for 30 seconds and then double it. And her heart rate is 60 beats per minute, strong and regular. Same thing with the breath rate I'm gonna do. Count for 30, double it. And her breath rate is 14 breaths per minute, full and non-labored. Next, I'm gonna move on to blood pressure. and her blood pressure is 110 over 70. Last is skin. Her skin is warm, dry, and appears to be of normal color. At this point, I'm gonna to tend to any secondary injuries that I just found, as well as given some interventions. And seeing as she is still unstable, every five minutes from this point forward, I'm gonna recheck my primary assessment, her vitals, and the interventions to make sure that they're still working. All I need to do now is update ALS. So there you have it. That's your scene size up primary and secondary assessments of a trauma patient. And remember, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you want the cheat sheet that my study group and I made when we were studying for the EMT exam in New York State, you can click the link in the description box of this video and get it for free. I'm Jamie Dreyer. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If you liked it, Show me a little bit of love and hit the like button. See you in the next video.